Hi, Tiny Fans, this is Melissa. She will help us learn about a few rare medical conditions soon. But even before I could finish the script for one such animation, our charming Melissa made a new friend. She calls her new friend Augie, and you can't see him because somehow it has snuck inside the ear of Melissa. During my short stint as an ER doctor, I encountered at least two cases of ear bugs per week. It made me question, why do the bugs seem to like the ear canals? Bugs prefer motionless places, like your ears when you are sleeping. The smell that emanates from the earwax attracts the bugs. They think of it as a tight space with warmth and safety. And don't forget that bugs are more active during the night when the victims are in deep sleep. If you had a bug crawled in your ear, you could be living in a room infested with bugs like cockroaches. You could also get it when you are camping out. Typically, the patient will wake up and feel something vibrating or moving inside the ear. Another common symptom is the fullness of the ear. Blood, pus, and hearing impairments usually indicate an infection or ear damage. Right, it's time to pull it out. But wait, if you insert a cotton bud, it can push the insect even further and damage the tympanic membrane, which is also known as the eardrum. A damaged eardrum can result in bleeding and hearing impairment. It could also introduce an infection into the middle ear. This notorious condition is called otitis media. Guidelines have recommended some first aid techniques that you can do at home, but I don't agree with all of them, so here's what I recommend. If the insect is visible, you may try to grasp and remove it gently. Position the head so that the affected ear faces downward. If the insect is weakly attached, then it might fall off due to gravity. Some guidelines, including the Mayo Clinic, recommend pouring olive oil or mineral oil into the affected ear and positioning it to face upward. The objective is to float the insect out. But I don't like this method because it's not very effective and it can cause more harm if the oil is too hot or if the eardrum is damaged. That's why I recommend visiting a doctor. The doctor will look inside the ear canal with an otoscope and grab the insect out gently with a pair of forceps. Doctors may insert mineral oil into the ear. This solution will kill the insect. Later, the doctor will flush the insect out with distilled water. Infected and complicated cases will be handled by an ear, nose, and throat specialist. We never had to give any form of anesthesia since the procedure is simple and painless. But there have been instances where local anesthesia was used. Antibiotics are prescribed only if there's evidence of inflammation. All right. Now the big question. You want to know what happened to Augie, right? No, we didn't kill him. Melissa wanted her friend alive. Now it has a new home, but still, Augie continues to buzz around Melissa's ears.